The smartest way to fight fires is before they start. The federal government's going to spend hundreds of millions of tax dollars in Colorado to remove dead trees from our forests with the realization that even that will not be enough to stop the next major fire. Here's Mark Salinger. All the people who were experts in it said it's not a matter of if we have a fire, it's when and where. The scars on Grand County will last for years. The when and where kind of was answered up here in October of 2020. The East Troublesome Fire burned nearly 200,000 acres. If you ask Grand Lake Fire Marshal Dan Meyer, the fire's immense size and power was predictable because of all the fuel that was left to burn. So much deadfall and down trees that you couldn't get into where it was. The federal government is now spending billions of dollars across the western U.S. to try and stop wildfires like this from happening again. The plan is to remove dead trees and burn low-lying vegetation that could fuel a wildfire like East Troublesome. It's going to be a tough job for whoever has to do it. In the last couple of years, Congress has sent more than $4 billion to states like California, Montana, and here in Colorado. Problem is, that's not even close to enough money. A 2020 report from the Colorado State Forest Service estimated it would cost $4.2 billion to mitigate fire danger and address land health in just 10% of Colorado's 24 million acres of forest. The 10% of forest that's in urgent need of treatment. We can't really reasonably treat um, all of our forests across the western U.S. Camille stevens Ruman is a fire ecologist at CSU. We live in burnable landscapes and pretty much everywhere can burn and a lot of it comes to how much fuel is out there that could become burnable. The Forest Service uses computer models to simulate wildfires and determine wildfire risk. From there it determines what land needs to be treated or cleaned up first. So the wildfire likelihood is calculated based on thousands of simulations of possible wildfire seasons. In each simulation, they input factors like weather, topography, and how much moisture we've gotten. The Colorado Front Range has some of the highest wildfire risk in the entire country, but far less than places like California, for example. I wonder if it gets to some point where we start getting fire forecasts like we get weather forecasts, you know, based on areas and probabilities. And we're seeing our first, I guess, major fire of the year now. Yeah, exactly. There's a fire down in Parachute right now that's burning around 3,000 acres. That is in part f fueled by all the fuel that's down there. It's gotten into an area with a lot of trees mm -hmm. pushed by the wind. That's how it spreads. All right, at this point, no threat to folks in parachute, no evacuation, but continuing to watch that thing. All right, Mark, thank you.